Good morning, uh, friends. Uh, my name is Kadri, and uh, I'm here to uh, show you how to uh, use drive windows on ABB drives. And uh, I will show you how to upload, download, and restore the parameters on new RDCU boards. Okay. To uh, start with, I'd say you will have to check uh, the updated version of drive window. That's my drive window software here. Uh, you should uh, have the latest version of drive window uh, before uh, communicating to RDCU boards. If uh, you use old version of uh, drive window with the new version of RDCU boards, the, the, the units might not work properly. Let me make sure that you have the right versions. Now, uh, I will uh, show you uh, how to uh, back the parameters from the RDCU boards. Before that, when you get a new RDCU board, you have to check the type of RDCU board. Like the one in picture here, it's a brand new RDCU board which we received. And uh, the type of this board is RDCU-12C, as you can see it here. So when, uh, when you are backing up or loading the parameters, make sure that the backup package and uh, parameter files what you have is matching with the type of RDCU boards like uh, in in some cases people try to download the backup package taken from RDCU-2C board and they when they download these parameters into RDCU-2C board they might damage the RDCU board and the uh, RDCU board might not work properly. So make sure you have right backup package and parameter pack package with you for that particular specific RDCU board you are using. Now this RDCU boards can be checked in the workshop. You don't uh, need to uh, install it in the drives. You can uh, simply have a 24 volt power supply and you can sit in the workshop and check these RDCU boards. Basically, you can do most of uh, downloading the parameters and uh, adjusting all the parameters sitting in the workshop. I'll show you a video which uh, shows you how to uh, set up the RDCU boards in the workshop. So, I'll start my video here. that's your 24 volt power supply and uh, it's uh, connected the 24 volt is connected to terminal x34 on the rdcu board this terminal is on the right hand side top right hand side of the rdcu board make sure you are connecting proper polarities of uh, voltages then you need uh, ddcs board to communicate to laptop and uh, this is how you can connect your laptop with DDC, DDCS board. And this is the adapter to for the communication, which is a USB type. You get PCMCA type also, but it's always recommended to use USB type of adapters. So this is how you connect your laptop with the adapter, and the adapter is connected to DDCS board via fiber optic cable. That's pretty much how you connect. You can set up your DDCS board in workshop. Now, once you are connected with the DDCS board and RDCU board, you can launch Drive Window software. So, once you start Drive Window, it will launch Drive Window software. And as you can see, it comes up with a window saying how do you want to connect to the drive. So you should always connect it as abb.snp and uh, you say OK for it. It tries to connect to the RDCU board now. So once it is connected, you will see here on the left hand corner of this window a black with, with the 
number of drive ACS 800. So that means you are connected with the drive now in flash RDCU board. So if you double click this, you get all all the sub menus in ACS 800 board. Then if I double click on the parameters, you can see all the parameters. So this is a brand new RDCU board with factory default settings. <laughs> All the all the parameters are set to the factory default. So, if you if you click on parameter set 99, you will see all these parameters are set to factory default. Here you see if you see the motor nominal voltage, it's set to zero. Motor nominal current set to zero, and motor nominal frequency to 50 and speed to 2900. And uh, this is uh, empty parameters. No, nothing is set up on the brand new ones. So if you s check parameter 95, you will see all these configurations here. The interesting point here that if you if you see parameter 95.03, the number of inverters set is either is either zero or sometimes minus one. This has to be set according to your application, like if you, how many inverters are you using. If you are using two inverters, you have to set this parameter to two. If you are using three inverters, you will have to set it to three. But in the new boards which we receive from ABB, I can see that I cannot change this parameter to my setup. Like if I am using three inverters here, I should be able to set it to three. But it does not let me do it. so do any combination two I do two it still stays at minus one if I try to make it to one it still stays at minus one as you can see here the minimum value is zero and maximum value is minus one so to get this working what you need is the correct backup package for this RDCU board so to get the backup package the correct backup package you can get it from uh, the machine supplier, the equipment supplier, like we are using top drive here and it is uh, supplied by National Oil Well Varco and you can get in touch with NOV and tell them that you are using RDCU-12C board and you need the backup package for that particular board and this, this has to be clearly told to NOV that what type of board you are using. It might so happen that you might be using RDCU-02C and NOV might send you RDCU-12C parameters which might not work. So you will have to specifically tell NOV that which type of board you are using and what type of parameters you need. So this is pretty much how you set up your uh, workshop set up for uh, loading and uploading the parameters in brand new RDCU board. So in the next session I will show you how to restore the backup package and upload the parameters and stuff like that. Thank you.